guys welcome back to another vlog so today is friday i'm just getting ready now for the day i don't really have much planned but i just wanted to get ready because it's friday i'm actually gonna do my hair right now i did my brows and lashes off camera because whenever i am like chatting and trying to do them it takes me a ridiculous amount of time i'm gonna do my hair because i just want to throw it up and get it out of my face i'm gonna do a bun which is like my classic go-to hairstyle and this is how greasy my hair is right now. This is like, I think fourth or fifth day hair. So it's just laying so flat, but it is perfect for this hairstyle whenever I do like my slick back bun. That's most likely because my hair is dirty. I usually never do that when I have like fresh clean hair. So I just use a regular brush to brush through it. All right, I'm gonna use some hairspray. I need to actually get some gel for like these little baby hairs. So I'm gonna use some hairspray. This one is the Eva NYC hairspray. I really like this. So this is the brush and this is basically key. Oh, mine's dirty, I need to clean it. This is the kind of brush that you need to do this. It helps so much. You can get it at Sally's Beauty, Amazon, Walmart. For me, these are like the little hairs right here that are super annoying and it's like the main reason why I like to even use this brush. And I'm actually getting my hair done tomorrow. Then I just tie it into a ponytail. I pretty much just twist it and then just do my bun okay that was legit an arm workout i definitely need to get some gel i feel like that would help to like slick my hair down even more but these little bumps sometimes for me are inevitable when i tighten my ponytail or like my bun so i still get little bumps sometimes but i just like it because it just gets my hair out of my face and then i just feel so much more put together okay so let's do the skin i'm gonna take a little urban decay all nighter glow and P.S. you guys, I'm in my office right now, which is really exciting because my office has pretty much been a mess for the past two years since we moved here. And I finally just this week like went through, organized everything, threw out a bunch of stuff. I'm not done with it yet. Like I still want to like finish up decorating. I'll show you guys what everything looks like because I got some new furniture. And I'm just excited to make it look like girly and cute in here because like I said, it's been two years and... It's taken me a while to like start doing stuff to the house, but I'm happy that it's finally happening. We also got a rug for our living room, which I'll show you guys. So things are coming together, finally. So if you guys are in the process of decorating your place or you haven't decorated, I always say this, but it's okay. Take your time. So taking your time with anything in life, honestly, is key. And I'm using the Nude Glow CC Plus from It Cosmetics. So anyways, today I don't really have a lot planned. I want to go to TJ Maxx. And I also want to go to like Ross. But I just wanted to do some makeup and just put myself together because it is Friday. Yesterday, to be real with you guys, I had pretty much a breakdown. I was going to say a mini breakdown, but I was pretty much breaking down all day yesterday. Like I was in such a crying mood, which is so weird because normally... I get more emotional and I always cry every single month. I'm a very emotional person, but normally I get very emotional like right when I'm about to start my period. Now, mind you, my period is long gone. It's been over now for like over a week. So it was just one of those days, you know, I read a comment and it really got to me and normally like negative comments. And let me just say, I don't even get a lot of negative comments. Like I have such a great community. Like you guys are amazing and I get more love than anything, you know, and normally a lot of, especially lately, I can pretty much ignore a lot of annoying comments. Like if somebody says, I don't know, like your eyeshadow is ugly or like, you know, things about like makeup. I'm like, whatever, because everybody has, you know, different preferences when it comes to makeup. So that stuff doesn't really bother me anymore. It did at one point, like it used to hurt my feelings in the beginning, but now I'm like, you know, whatever. Everybody has their own opinions when it comes to makeup. But there are comments sometimes that do get under my skin, especially ones that I don't want to get into detail about like specifics, but like, you know, some people are just really shitty online and, you know, keyboard warriors and I'm human. And sometimes that stuff affects me, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And just because you have an opinion doesn't mean that you have to say it or post it online and I think that's the problem with people like it's sometimes it's not good to always say what's on your mind especially on the internet so yeah yesterday was one of those days where I felt defeated but it's okay I actually ended up still filming a video I was productive but anyways we are not going to talk about negativity because it doesn't matter I just wanted to let that out yesterday was a good day though despite all that because whenever I'm done crying it just feels like like a big weight is just lifted off your shoulders and that's how I felt yesterday because it's just 
something that just needed to come out, you know? I'm gonna actually make some lunch when I'm done this and I'm filming a what I eat in a weekend, which I've never done before. I normally do a what I eat in a, I was gonna say week, what I eat in a day. I've seen people do what I eat in a week, but I was like, let me do what I eat in a weekend because I've never done that before. Not that I really eat anything like crazy exciting, but oh wait, I need my brush to set my under eyes, hold on. Okay, so yeah, I'm filming a what I eat in a weekend and then I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx, hit up some stores. Just get a little retail therapy in because I actually have not been to TJ Maxx in a minute, like surprisingly. Oh my gosh, something else that I wanted to show you guys and tell you about is, okay, hold on, let me get it. So me and Hector got this Embark dog DNA test from Amazon because you guys know we adopted Bernard back in 2018. Crazy, it's been so long, but we adopted him. We got him from a shelter and when we originally got him, like even under his bio, when I was like applying to adopt him, they told me that he was like a mixed breed, that he was probably a pit bull boxer, but they weren't really sure just because he did come from South Carolina and they rescued him and everything. But for a while we've been curious and every time people ask us, we always just say, oh, pit boxer, like that's what he is and at, even at one point we thought he was an american staffordshire and then i was like you know what we have to figure this out and i'm so curious so we just got that from amazon and we got his results in and bernard is a hundred percent american pitbull terrier he's actually not mixed at all i really honestly thought he was going to be mixed with something so i did not expect that but i really like this little kit i will link it down below it's really easy you just have to like swab um inside their mouth like in their cheeks lips I lined them with the LA girl perfect precision lip liner in the shade cafe and then I'm gonna go over this with the plumping lip serum from makeup by Mario in the shade bronze glow today's makeup is like everyday makeup so this is a like your lips but better shade I really like these a lot they're so creamy though like even like when I apply it the product is like seeping out on the sides it's a really really creamy product but it feels nice and also I'll show you guys my office right now just to give you a little tour of what it looks like I'm just so happy that it's finally like organized it's not done yet but the way that this office was you guys it was a mess like I don't even know how I was able to get work done because it just was so cluttered I felt like that's why my mind has been like so cluttered also because my office was just it's a mess and this is where I do the majority of my work like my editing and stuff so you have no idea how good it feels to just have a clean organized space in here i love it okay let me set the makeup this desk this is my old desk this is not going to be here i'm going to give this to my mom i'm actually going to put this right here this little love seat i just got this on amazon actually and i got it yesterday and it wasn't supposed to be here for another two weeks so i was really surprised that it came so fast so i really like this i also got this new furniture piece from amazon as well i have to switch out these knobs that's why they're not on all the way i want to get like some pretty gold ones i don't really know what exactly i want to do on top of this dresser i just have this stuff here for now but i know i want to get like a gallery wall and put a bunch of different pictures up here i also want to get a plant over there in that corner and then this is my desk and my little filing cabinet which they're both from Amazon. I really like the desk. I just wanted something with more storage and I love these drawers right? but I hate this color gold. Do you guys see it? It's like an orangey yellow so I'm definitely going to be like spray painting or painting over it and I'm going to do like a light bronze like a pretty gold and I'm also going to switch out those knobs on there and then I'm going to switch out the knobs on the filing cabinet as well and then I'm thinking some wallpaper here and I asked you guys actually on Instagram to send me over some suggestions suggestions and thank you so much by the way because I got a lot of good ones. I'm going to get some pretty wallpaper, put a neon sign, the love seat's going to go there and then I also want to get a new mirror. Okay here is the OTD, very casual and cozy. So I am repping Brie's merch today and I'm wearing this cropped sweater. It is so soft and cozy. I really like it. Hopefully it's still available. I will link it if it is. It just says blissful on it. It comes in other colors and it also if you don't like cropped sweaters they also have like regular like crew necks and I believe there's also a t-shirt so check it out and these leggings are from amazon they're my favorite like just everyday stretchy leggings and then today i'm gonna wear these shoes i got these like five years ago and they're just adidas but i love them because they add a nice little pop of color and they're so cute and today's perfume is ariana grande sweet like candy this smells so good if you like sweet girly scents you will love this it's kind of like the juicy couture viva la juicy and i'm sure you guys know this but if you don't to make your perfume last 
this all day. Take some Vaseline. I have this all over body balm and just put it on wherever you're going to put on the perfume. You could even like use lotion as well, but this is just so convenient. I like to put some right behind my ears and then I just like rub it in with my fingers. So I usually do behind my ears, right on my wrist and then behind my knees. I'm not doing it right now just because I have leggings on, but that always hit behind the knees, I'm telling you. All right, now I'm gonna go make lunch officially and then I will see you guys at TJ Maxx. All right, first stop is always makeup and they actually don't have as many products as they usually do. It's pretty empty. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, but usually there's like way more than this. I see some BH Cosmetics, Makeup Revolution, more BH. Ooh, these lashes are so pretty. Yeah, they don't really have much today. Ooh, I love this little blush palette from BH. There's always these little Stila liquid eyeshadows and $10 for three, that's not bad. The skincare section's pretty empty too. There's not as much stuff as there usually is. So the makeup and skincare section today is kind of a dud. So I'm just looking at some home decor. I also do like this lamp for the living room. I just bought another one too from Amazon, but I feel like this one would actually match really well. And it's like the same price. These dog beds though, they are so cozy. I really like them. I just bought Bernard a new one too. And this one, I actually really like. It looks so cozy. Dang it, it's like when you're looking for stuff, you never find it. And then when you don't need it anymore, everything pops up. <laughs> the music is really loud in here, by the way. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but they have a lot of stuff locked up, like more expensive brands, like milk makeup. These brushes look really good, 13 bucks. Okay, this purse is kind of cute, right? I'm not gonna get it, but I like it. I also love this one and I like the color too. This white Aldo bag is also really pretty. And there's also a black one. I really like this a lot. All right, we're watching this tonight. Let's see if it's good. It's number one. So I'm all done. I love the way it looks. Just very subtle highlights, but it's cute. So I'm gonna eat my granola bar. I brought this and a banana because I'm pretty hungry. It's like lunchtime right now. So I'm gonna head out. I think I'm gonna go to the outlets because I have two shoes to return that I bought online and that's exactly why I don't like to buy shoes and clothes sometimes online, but then it's like, it's convenient. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna return those shoes because they've been sitting in my room for like the past two weeks. Possibly also go grocery shopping because I usually go grocery shopping on the weekends, Fridays or Saturdays when I go with my mom. So I'm probably gonna do that today just to get it done so I can like chill tomorrow and have like Sunday fun day. This is why I love coming to Aldi. I always get these for Bernard, he loves carrots. So this is the new rug that we actually found at Walmart. I got it on sale for like, I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks. And this is pretty much what I was looking for. Like just something to help add a little bit of warmth into the living room. And I really love it. Yeah, good Walmart find. I believe the brand was like mainstays. Love the way it looks. I feel like it's like slowly tying everything together. And I also did order a couch cover for this couch because I was telling you guys in my last vlog that I wanted to potentially get a new couch. And you guys were like, no, just get a couch cover. So I got a cream colored one. I'm actually washing it right now. And I'm gonna put it on later on. And hopefully Hopefully it looks good because I really don't love the way this blanket looks over this couch. This is his living room, by the way. That is why right when you walk in, the first thing that you see is a painting of Bernard. It's literally Bernard's world and me and Hector are just living in it.
Okay, so I legit never do this, but I bought a magazine at the grocery store yesterday, and I'm reading it right now, and it's actually really good. There's, like, some good stuff in here. Like, a lot of these brands I love. Oh, like, these are really good. I love these. And that's, like, the butter that I love. Earth Balance, yogurt, BioLife cheese, also love. A couple of these I haven't tried, but a lot of these I have. Like, these two I also love. Oh, that ice cream is so good. It's a lot of, like, junk food, but... It's good. I like these brands. This is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. Watching Selling Sunset because I just found out that they have new episodes last night. I did not know that they were going to have new episodes so soon. So this is going to be my Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog.